The Mukuru Wumperani Kari Archive is accessible to Warmungu community members through individual login and passwords and to others through the public archive. Clicking on Browse the Public Archive brings you to the eight categories for browsing the archive. Once you choose a category to browse by, you can sort the content using the filter box on the right hand side, or you can click on an image to view the content directly. Signing in using a username and password, more content becomes available based on the cultural protocols. The user profile defines the content that the person will be able to access based on War Among you cultural protocols, specifically concerning gender, community status, family, and country. Once logged in, the user is taken directly to My Family Items. The content in My Family Items is generated based on the user's profile. You can browse using the category box on the right or go directly to a piece of content by clicking on it. If someone in the photo is deceased, a warning box will pop up. Users can then decide if they want to view the image or return to the index. Once a user clicks through to an image, all of the archival information is available on the right-hand side. On the left, users can add a comment or print the image. If the content has been improperly tagged, users can report mistakes or other offenses related to the protocols for an image at the bottom of the page. There are four steps to adding content to the archive. Content can be uploaded individually, or through the batch uploader. In each case, every piece of content must still go through the three remaining steps. Once the content is uploaded, the metadata needs to be added. The file type is auto-generated, as is the file name. Location of the original, location of the digital file, and location of the local copy work together to allow one to track back to the physical archival record if necessary. On the left-hand side, users add their own story about the piece of content. Then we come to the information about the content. Each person is listed individually, and if they are deceased, the box next to their name is ticked. This will trigger a warning when the photo is accessed. You can add as many names as needed by choosing Add Another. The country's pull-down menu allows users to list place names with more specificity so that areas within a region can be added by the individual user as a subcategory. The families pull-down menu allows one to list all of the families in the photo. The type of thing pull-down menu allows users to define the content by relating it to the archive's main categories. Once a category is chosen, users can also add subcategories as needed. Step 3 defines the sharing protocols for the image. Choosing open means that the image has no restrictions and will be publicly available for viewing. Choosing set restrictions allows users to define the access parameters for the image based on Warmungu cultural protocols concerning gender, the sacred status of the image, families, or country. Choosing these restrictions defines who can see the content. Restrictions can be changed at any time. Once restrictions are chosen, you can add the image to the archive.